If you want to take an avocado seed and sprout a little guy like this and take good care of him until someday he's producing a delicious avocado like this one right here, there's really two things you need to concern yourself. And one of them, and it's the lesser important of the two, one of them is you got to give the tree what it needs. It needs soil, it needs light, it needs a little bit of fertilizer, and it needs water. And that's it. That's it. That's easy, right? The second thing, and the harder thing to do, is you got to clear the obstacles to that tree's growth. This tree wants to grow. He wants to be in soil. He wants to throw his roots and spread out, right? He wants to throw up a, a nice stem and start to spread out and grow leaves. And one of the things we, we start to do is we, you know, we get all nervous and we dig up the soil and we move them to another pot or things like that. And, and we can never really get that good root growth going, right? So one of the things you need to get out of the way so your tree will grow and flour flourish is your own impulse to fuss over it. Let the tree do what it wants to do. Let it do its thing. Now that philosophy of giving these things what they need to thrive and then removing the impediments to their growth, it's a philosophy I use in various aspects of my life. For instance, being a dad, I have a 12-year-old son, right? And what I try to do as a dad is give him what he needs to thrive and then get out of the way. Stay out of the way and watch what he grows into. I don't want to shape him into something. I don't want to make him into something. I want to discover who he is. Just like we're going to discover what our trees become, what our trees look like once we get them in the ground, right? I don't want to shape my son. I don't want to make him into a surgeon or make him into an astronaut. I want to give him what he needs to thrive, remove the impediments out of the way, and then just sit back and discover who he is. And I used to do the same thing as a manager. I worked for a big, huge corporation. I had a bunch of people working for me. And you know, there was a tendency, they'd send us to these management classes, how to get the best out of your people. You got to do this, you got to do that, you got to train them. They were always trying to like bend the employees to their will, which never worked. So again, what I tried to do was give them what they needed to do their job, give them the tools and the skills and the resources they needed to do their job, and then clear away all the distractions. I managed salespeople, so there was a lot of distractions, a lot of you know, approvals and computer systems and crap like that they had to use. As a manager, I tried to clear away all of that. So give them what they need, clear away all the distractions so they could be the salespeople they were. And they were all different and they were all unique. And the more I got out of their way, the more they were able to be themselves, which is why I hired them in the first place, right? I wanted them. I didn't want some clone or some robot that our corporation was going to create, right? I liked that person, and I wanted that person to go out and be that person and do the things that person does and survive and thrive. And isn't that what we want to do with our trees? We want to give them what they need, clear the obstacles out of the way, and just sit back and watch, and watch them grow, and see how they form, and see what shape they take. See what kind of fruit they produce. See what kind of joy they produce in other people. And if that's how you look at growing your avocado seedling, give yourself a pat on the back. Congratulations, because you've figured it out. You've gotten to the secret. You've found a way to create a new hobby and produce joy in your heart. Now, if you want to walk around town with joy in your heart and a sleepy lizard shirt on your back, go to guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. That's where we sell these t-shirts. We sell grafted trees. Let me see. Here's one. Here's a grafted mango tree. We sell these things online. We sell our fruit when it's in season. And it's a website that's really meant to give people a shopping experience that creates joy and puts a smile on their face. So you go out to guacfarm.com. And while you do that, I'm going to take my VW bus for a cruise in this beautiful South Florida weather, and I will see you on the next video.